everyone, and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightorama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about creating groups for RGB props in the Lightorama Preview Editor. Arranging your props in groups via the Preview Editor allows you to place motion effects on groups of props instead of only on individual elements. Groups that you create in the Preview Editor will automatically appear in every sequence that uses that preview. Groups you make as a part of your grid configuration will only appear in that specific sequence, or in a grid view that you export. Check out our grid configuration tutorial for more information. To make a group, use the Add button in the Preview Editor. Don't forget to name your group. You can change the order of your props by using these arrows, or select groups of elements to move them all at once. If you've included props that aren't near each other in the master list, Create your group, save, then reopen the preview group definition window. It will move all of the included props to the top, making it much easier for you to change the order. If you're putting RGB props into a group, you need to choose an arrangement. You cannot create motion effect rows if the arrangement is set to none, which means you wouldn't be able to do much with your smart pixels. None is a great option for groups of AC channel props. There are eight different ways you can arrange your smart pixel props. Most of the time, you will use one of three options if you intend to use the sequencer and motion effects. Horizontal stack align bottoms, vertical stack, or use preview. If you need a unique arrangement for a group of elements, check out Lightorama's documentation via this question mark icon to learn about the other five. Horizontal stack align bottoms is a common arrangement option and works well for many groups like arches and roof lines. This group arrangement stacks your props in a horizontal line from left to right. Make sure you always follow the directions in the lower right and arrange your props in the correct order. Vertical stack arranges your props from bottom to top in a vertical stack. Again, make sure you're following the directions in the lower right. You can use this arrangement for truly vertical items, or you could also arrange props from the front to the back of your yard, even if every prop remains on the ground. The last common arrangement is use preview which takes all of the props you've checkmarked and organizes them into a giant canvas. This slider allows you to change the resolution of your group. The highest resolution will give you better effect quality, but will take longer to render effects. Be sure to choose the combination that works best for you. Let's take a look at how these three different group arrangements change the motion effects on our four sets of props. This is a right single block effect using horizontal stack aligned bottoms. The arches are single strands, so the effect logically goes straight from one to the next. The roof lines are the same concept, except since I have all of my roof lines in one group instead of split into two levels, the effect first goes along the top roof, then to the bottom. The mega tree group is three different props, so the effect goes from left to right, starting in the next prop right where it left off from the one before. The six stars get treated as if they were in a horizontal line instead of how they're actually arranged which is why the single block effect goes all the way around the first star before jumping to the second, finishing out by going around the sixth. For vertical stack, I've alternated between a right single block effect and an up single block effect for all of the groups. During the right single block effect, the effects play on every prop at once. This is because we've told the sequencer to treat the props as if they're in a vertical stack, even though they're actually side by side. This means the sequencer looks for the starting pixel of every prop in a group and in this case, starts the effect from the left. Watch the up single block effect on the trees and stars in particular. For example, I've told the sequencer that the far left tree is on the bottom, which is why the colors of the block effect go from the bottom to the top of each tree from left to right, one at a time. Since the stars are actually in more of a vertical stack than a horizontal, that might actually be a better option for this particular group. Lastly, let's compare use preview to our two stack arrangements again alternating between single block effect directions. Pay attention to the mega trees. Watch how with the horizontal stack alignment, the up effect colors all finish at the same time on each prop. With the use preview arrangement, the colors move in a straight line up the trees and the middle tree is the last to have color. This is because the sequencer is treating the area as a giant box instead of individual props. The arches can't even show an up effect on horizontal stack since the props are only one pixel tall but changing the arrangement to use preview means the block effect can span the full height. If you think you want to arrange your props in multiple ways, no problem. 
With S5, props can be in multiple groups. Simply create a new group in the preview editor and choose a different arrangement. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.